Welcome back reception. I hope you enjoyed your half term. We're going straight back in with our maths lessons this week, looking at capacity. Now, as always, we have a unit focus for the week, and that is to learn the language used to describe an object's capacity and to use this knowledge to solve problems. Our learning objective is to be able to use language to describe capacity and our success criteria is that we can explain what capacity is, we can use the language to describe an object's capacity and we can even solve capacity problems. Now, first of all, capacity might be a new word to you because we haven't looked at this at school before, but capacity means how much fluid fits inside a container. Now, fluid again might be a new word to you, and it's something that is a liquid, so something like water or juice, something that moves, so that's a fluid. So capacity is how much of this water can fit inside a container. Now, a container could be anything. It could be a bucket, it could be a glass, it could be a jug. So it's just seeing how much you can fit inside that object. So here on my screen, we are going to begin looking at the language that we would use to describe an object's capacity. So you should be able to see a glass and it has got some water inside it. Now, if you can look at the glass, you can see the water is filled right up to the top. So we would say that this is full. Can you say that? Full. Now, this glass has got no water in it, so it is empty. This glass has water about halfway in the glass, so it's not up to the top, it's not at the bottom, it's just in the middle. So we could say that this is half full or half empty. Now the water in this glass is just near the bottom, it's not empty, it's just there's just a little bit left, so we could say that this is nearly empty. And this glass has water closer to the top. It's not right up to the top, so it's not full like the glass at the beginning. There's still a bit of a gap here where the water doesn't fit. So we would say that this is nearly full. Now we're just going to have a recap. So look at my glass. How would we describe it? Would we use full, empty, nearly full, nearly empty, half full or half empty? What would you say its capacity is? We'd say it's empty because there is no water at all in the glass. What about this one? Can you remember the word? Well done, it is full. Well, this one's a bit of a tricky one. Make sure you look where the water is. Is it in the middle of the glass? Is it closer to the top? Closer to the bottom? We would say this glass is nearly full. Again, another tricky one. Look where the water goes up to. I'll give you a clue. There are two answers for this one. Two ways of describing it. Yep, we might say it's half full or half empty because the water is in the middle of the glass. It's halfway up. And this one. Is the water near the top of the glass, near the bottom of the glass? It's near the bottom, but there is still some water there, so it's not completely empty. So we would say it's nearly empty. Now, if you need to have a practice of those, quite a lot of words we've looked at, please go back through the video again and again till you're really secure with that new language. 
Now your task today is that you're going to find some different containers in your home and fill them with some water to show the different capacities. So your container might be a glass, it might be a small plastic cup, it might be a jug, it could be a watering can, a bucket, whatever you like, something that you can put water in in and I want you to have a go at finding the different capacities so you might fill it all the way up to the top and say that it is full or you might make sure that the water's halfway in your container and say that it is half full or half empty. See if you can get a grown up or a brother or sister to ask you to fill up a container half full or nearly empty to see if they can test you on your language. Now I've put a bit of a challenge question here at the bottom of the screen in green and it says even though two glasses might both be full do they hold the exact same amount of water and can you explain your answer? So maybe that's something you want to investigate and have a look. So you might have two glasses, they might look different so make sure they're different glasses and you might make sure that they're both full but do they have the exact same amount of the water in them? As always, we're just going to reflect on our learning from today. So we were looking at using the language to describe capacity, which we started. So at the very beginning of the lesson, I told you what capacity is. Could you please tell, explain to me what capacity means? Well done, it's how much fluid or liquid a container can hold or contain. So that's what capacity is. Now, if you struggled with that, maybe just go back to the beginning of the video so that you can see the definition again and keep practicing. So I'm going to test you at some point this week. We've also looked at using the language to describe an object's capacity. So that is what you're going to be doing in your task. You're going to be using the words that we've learnt to describe the different containers in your home. And the challenge question just touches on this last success criteria of solving capacity problems. But don't worry if you don't give it a go. We're going to carry on looking at solving problems this week.